Homework helper, homework helper, I need you. Homework helper. A, B, C sound and blends. Hello, homework sheroes and homework heroes. Are you all ready for today's lesson? Well, great. Today we are going to be doing alphabet letter sounds as well as some blends. So are you ready? Great. Let's get started. A, A, Apple, Ape, B, B, Book, Brush, Black, C, K, Cat, Celery, Clippers, Crackers, D, D, Dog, Dress, Dwarf, E, Eggs, Evening, F, F Fish, Flowers, Froth, G, G, Girls, Grass, Glasses, H, H Highway, I, I, Igloo, Ice, J, J, Justice, K, K, Kick, L, Laugh, M, M, Money, N, N, Nails, O, A, Otter, Nose, P, P, Popcorn, Pray, Play, Q, Qu Queen, R, R, Rain, S, Sun, Sticks, Snail, Spoon, Shoes, Stars, Swim, Strong, T, T, Tornado, Tree, Twinkle, U, A, uh, Umbrella, Used, V, V, Van, W, W, Wallet, Wrist, X, X, X-ray, Box, Y, Y, Yarn, Y as the vowel I, Sky, Y as the vowel E, Sleepy, Z, Z, Zebra. Random A, B, C song. Hello, homework sheroes and homework heroes. Are you all ready for another lesson with the homework helper? Great. Today, we are going to be talking about the ABC song. You know the one, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yes, that one. We love singing the ABC song and we love hearing our children sing the ABC song. But over the years of teaching children, I have learned that just because a child can sing the ABC song, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually learning the alphabets. So we're going to try something a little different. It's the ABC song, but it is the ABC song singing the alphabets randomly. Okay, that just means we're going to sing them out of order. It's in the same melody as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, but the letters are all out of place. So who's up for a challenge? Who wants to see if they can follow along with some FCA students as well as myself singing the alphabets out of order? Come on, let's give it a try. Level one. Sing 
level two. F C A L Q P R B X T S U R Y K H Z I B D M G N J E N W. Now I know my A B C's. Sing them randomly with me. Oh, you did good. Are you ready to go again? Let's go. F C A L Q P O V X T S U R Y K H Z I B D M G N J E N W. Now you know your A B C's. Sing them randomly with me. Yay! That was amazing. You did a great job singing your alphabets randomly. Very good. Now for practice, watch this video as often as you, as you would like so you can continue to practice singing your alphabets randomly. And guess what? In a couple of weeks, they're going to change. Isn't that exciting? Yay! Charles. Hello there, my homework sheroes and my homework heroes. Today's lesson is all about the vowels. And the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Now, vowels are very special because they each have two sounds. They have a long sound and a short sound. Y is the vowel when they make the long I sound and the long E sound. To help your child better learn the vowel sounds, some can use a rubber band, especially if they need something in their hands to help them focus on what they're doing. So for the long vowel sounds, they stretch them as far apart as they can. And as they're stretching, they're saying the letter sound. So long A, A, short A, A. Very good. Long E, stretch it out. Long E, E. Very good. Short E. Real quick. Eh. Eh. Long I. I. Stretch it out. I. Very good. Short I. Eh. 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 Long O. Stretch it out. Oh. Stretch it again. Oh. Very good. Short O. Ah. Ah. Long U, same thing, stretch it out. U, U, short U, really short, uh, uh, very good. Now, Y is a consonant and it plays a vowel sometimes. We're not focusing on the consonant Y, we're looking at Y as a vowel. The two vowel sounds that Y is sometimes is I and E as in the word that we had on our alphabet letter sounds, sky. And it's E we had on the picture with sleepy. Now there's one big difference between sky and sleepy, and it is the syllables. Sky is one syllable. So one syllable words that end with Y will have the long I sound. When Y is long E, the word is going to have two or more syllables. That Y will have the long E sound. Two syllable word as in sleepy or a three syllable word as in happily. And those are our vowel sounds for today. As always, listen to this video as often as you can until you have learned all of the vowel sounds. Types of syllables. Hello, my homework sheroes and my homework heroes. Are you ready for another lesson? Well, of course you are. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are talking about the different types of syllables. They are very, very important when we start sounding out words. We're going to go over each one. So pay close attention because we're going to have a review at the end of the video. Do you know there are six different types of syllables. The first 
type of syllable is called a closed syllable. And this is when the word simply ends with a consonant. Now, remember, a consonant is any alphabet that is not a vowel. Some examples of low syllable words are sun and butter. Butter. Very good. The next type of syllable is an open syllable. And this is when the word ends with a vowel. And as a review, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Some examples of open syllable words are fly, potato, potato, strawberry, strawberry. The next type of syllable is the vowel consonant E at the end of the word. Some examples of vowel consonant E syllables are bike, plane, and dime. The next type of syllable is the vowel team syllable. This is when you have two vowels together, but you only hear the first vowel saying its name, as in the word rain or the word seat, seat, and meat. Now with vowel team syllables, just because you have two vowels together, the first vowel would not always say its name, as in the word out. O-U, it's saying ow or head. Even though you have E and A, the E is making the short E sound, E. And in the word steak, you actually hear the long A sound. The fifth syllable rule is consonant plus L ending with the letter E. Examples are candle, candle. You have the consonant D plus the L and ending with E. Another word is puzzle. You have the consonant Z plus L ending with E. And the last example is turtle. You have the consonant T plus L ending with E. The last type of syllable is the controlling R syllable. Now, I'm going to slow down a bit on this one because there are five different types of controlling R syllable words. The first one we're going to do is A-R, R as in car or farm. The second type is E-R, er as in the word tiger or feather. The third type is I-R that also says er as in the word bird or shirt. The next type of controlling R syllable word is O-R or as in horn or store. And the last type is U-R, er as in purple or turkey. Very good. Very good. Remember when I said pay close attention because there's going to be a review? Well, it's review time. So what I'm going to do is say the rule and I want you to give me one of the words that I gave you in the video. Okay. So who can remember one of the closed syllable words? Sun. That's very good. Very good. How about an open syllable word? Strawberry. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Strawberry. I love strawberries. What about vowel consonant E? Plain. Very good. How about the vowel team syllable? Rain. Can you give me another vowel team syllable that does not have the first vowel saying its name? Out. Very good. Okay, now give me an example of consonant plus L ending with E. Turtle. Very good. All right, it's time for the controlling R syllable words. 
How about AR? Car, very good. What about ER? Tiger, excellent. How about IR? Bird, very good. What about OR? Corn, very good. And the last one is you are turkey. Excellent, excellent. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourself a hand. Very good, very good. That is the end of the video lesson for today. As always, watch the video as many times as you like. Until next time, remember, you are not here to be average. You are here to be awesome. Syllables and sounding out words. Hello, my homework sheroes and my homework heroes. Are you all ready for another lesson? Well, of course you are. So let's get started. In a previous lesson, we learned about the different kinds of syllables. Now, if you didn't see it, scroll back and look for the video entitled Types of Syllables because it's really going to help you as we begin sounding out words. What is a syllable? Well, a syllable is a letter, a combination of letters that when uttered together with one or more efforts of the voice, says a word. I help my younger students understand this by having them place their hand under their chin. And as they say the word, they count the number of times their chin drops. Even if it's just a little bit, you still count it. So please place your hand under your chin. When you say the word my, how many times did you feel your chin drop? One time. That is one effort of the voice, and that is a one-syllable word. How about the word happy? Happy. Very good. That's two times you felt your chin drop, and that's two efforts of the voice and two syllables. What about the word tomorrow? Three times you felt your chin drop. There's three efforts of the voice and three syllables. And the last word is watermelon. Very good. You felt it drop four times. That's four efforts of the voice and four syllables. Very, very good. When you come to a word you do not know, do not panic. You're going to count the number of vowels. That's very important because that is going to tell you how many syllables there are in the word. Now, if you do not remember the vowels, scroll back through the videos and look for the one entitled vowels. Now, there may be one vowel that's going to be one syllable. Two vowels, that will be two syllables. And another important thing to remember is each syllable has to have at least one vowel. Once you have determined how many vowels there are in the word and how many syllables there are, you are ready to start sounding the word out. And this works on words at any level. Are you ready to give it a try? Let's try it. The first word is B-A-T. How many vowels are there? There's only one vowel in B-A-T, and that is a one-syllable word. Now it's time to sound it out. Let's try it. B-A-T. 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 Very good. The next word is C A N D. Why? How many vowels are in that word? Don't forget about the Y as a vowel. There are two vowels, so there are two syllables. So let's sound it out. K, A, N, D, E, K, A, N, D, E, K, A, N, D, E, K, A, N, D, Candy. Very good. The next word, they're getting kind of big, is N-E-W-S-P-A-P-E-R. How many vowels do you see in this word? Three vowels. You're getting really good at this. So that lets us know that there are three syllables. Let's sound it out. 
news pa a pa er news pay pa er news pay per newspaper very good here's another word a l l i g a t o r how many vowels are in this word Four vowels, very good. Four syllables. Let's sound it out. Al, i, g, a, t, or, al, li, g, a, t, or, alligator, alligator, alligator. And the last word is. E L E C T R I C I T Y. How many vowels do you see? Five. You didn't forget about the Y. Very good. So we have five syllables, and each syllable has at least one vowel. So let's sound it out. E O E K C E S E T E. E l e c t r i c i t y e l e c t r i c i t y e l e c t r i c i t y e l e c t r i c i t y Very, very good. You all did an amazing job. Remember to watch this video as often as you need to, so you can become more comfortable with counting the number of vowels, which tells you the number of syllables, and making sure that each syllable has at least one vowel. And then you just sound the word out. The more you practice, the better you will become, and the easier it will get, and the better you will be able to read. Isn't that amazing? Until next time, remember. You are not here to be average. You are here to be awesome. Bye -bye. Comprehensive review for season one. Well, hello, my homework heroes and my homework sheroes. You know, I was thinking and I said, hmm, now would be a great time for a comprehensive review to kind of go over all of the things that we've talked about so far on homework helpers. So first we started with, of course, the alphabets. And it's always good to go over the alphabets in the traditional alphabet song. It's a great place to start, but don't stop there. Challenge yourself to learn the alphabets out of order. That will help you tremendously. And once you have learned the alphabets, go over the blends and the sounds of the alphabets. That's going to be very important as you're learning how to read. You must know the letter sounds. The next thing we talked about was the vowels. So the vowels are also important. Long vowels, short vowels, and don't forget about that sometimes Y. When the Y says I in a one syllable word, and when the Y says E in two or more syllable words. And there was a lot of talk about syllables. Do you remember all of the different kinds of syllables? And please, please don't forget about that controlling R. Now, when we discuss the syllables, remember the key thing is the number of vowels will tell you how many syllables there are in the word. Of course, that does not apply all the time, but we will get to that later. But for now, the number of vowels tell you how many syllables there are and make sure that each syllable has at least one vowel. Then we talked about sounding out the words. Feel free to go back and watch the videos as often as you need to. They're only going to help you as you're learning how to read. The more you practice, the better you will get. And remember, you're not here to be average. You are here to be awesome. Season one quiz. Well, hello, my homework heroes and my homework sheroes. Are you ready to have some fun today? Good, because we are going to have 
a good old quiz to go over all of the things we have covered so far. So put on your thinking cap and let's get started. In episodes one, two, and three, we talked about the alphabets and their sounds. I have a speed challenge for you heroes and sheroes. I am going to say a series of sounds and you have to say the letter or group of letters that you think makes that sound. But you have to be quick because you only have three seconds to say the answer. You got this though. Are you ready? Let's go. Z. Uh. Slow. Eh. Yeah. Bruh. Uh. What? Oh. J. Oh. All right. How do you think you did? Okay. If you got five right, give yourself a hand clap. Yay. If you got 10 right, give yourself a pat on the back. Say, I did that. I did that. If you got them all correct, give yourself a right of applause. You did great. That was so good. Very good. Very good. Next, in, in episodes four and five, we talked about syllables. You all remember the syllables, all of those syllables and sounding out some words. So this time, I'm going to ask you some questions. So keep your thinking caps on because you will have five seconds to answer each one. Let's just get it done. First question. Can you name at least three of the different types of syllables? Mm-hmm. 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 Very good. You could have said the closed syllable, the open syllable, the vowel plus consonant E syllable, the vowel team syllable, the consonant plus L plus E syllable, or the controlling R syllable. Very good. You all are doing a great job. I mean, wow, very good. Okay, here's the next question. What type of syllable does the word fall under? Sun. Closed syllable. Potato. Open syllable, rain, vowel team syllable, candle, consonant plus L plus E syllable, tiger. Controlling R syllable. Yay! Very good, very good. Now we're going to say the number of syllables that each word has. So I'm going to say the word and you have to listen really closely and tell me how many syllables. Do you remember the trick? 
Just put your hand under your chin. Let's see how you do. Cantaloupe. Three syllables. Daisy. Two syllables. Bat. Of course, one, you got that one so fast. Helicopter. Four, very good. Red. One syllable. Gorilla. Three syllables. Hippopotamus. Five syllables. Wow, you did it. You all are like super scholars. That just means you're very smart. Keep your thinking caps on. We're almost finished. This is our last question. All right, is everybody ready? So I'm going to spell the word. And you're only going to have 10 seconds to sound out the words. All right. R-A-T. Rat. K-I-C-K. You have it already? Very good. Kick. B A S K E T. What's the word? Basket. Very good. The next word is E L A S T I C. You can do it. You can do it. One letter at a time. Wow. Yes. Elastic. Very good. That was kind of tricky, huh? But you did it. Very good. Very good. This was so much fun. I hope you all enjoyed it too. You all are so smart. Do you see how much you have learned? Remember, you're not here to be average. You are here to be awesome. We'll see you next time. Season 1 Questions and Answers Well, hello, my homework sheroes and my homework heroes. I am so excited because on this video, I get to answer the questions that were emailed into the Bayer Christian Academy. So we have two questions. One is from a child, which I just love, and one is from an adult, and I love that as well. So let's see what these questions are. I'm going to do the question from the child first. Adult, and I love that as well. So let's see what these questions are. I'm going to... That is a very good question. So... The first thing we want to do when trying to figure out if the vowel is going to be long or short in the word, we're going to look at the last three letters. And what we're looking for are a vowel, a consonant, and a vowel, mainly E. Let's say we have the word. So we look at the last. A vowel comes in with the letter E, the vowel E. So let's say, for instance, we have the word cake. Let's say we have the word C-A-K-E. So the last three letters. I hope I answered that question well for you. Our next question is... Another P is a consonant 
and the as the vow? That is an excellent question because as long as you're reading, you will always come across words that are new to you. And so because of that, the way to do it without panicking or just skipping over the word altogether, saying big word I can't pronounce, we just take the skills that we've learned and we just sound it out. So it's hap, p, happy. I hope I answered that question well for you. If I didn't, you're welcome to email back for a simpler explanation. But I hope that was good. Our next question is, does knowing how to syllabicate words help sound the word? Because as long as you're reading, you will always come words that now, even if you don't say the word 100% correctly, it will give you a very good idea of what that word is. I hope that answered your question. And if not, please feel free to email back for a simpler explanation or just to let us know that I get it now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. And as always, remember, we are not here to be average. We are here to be awesome. Homework helper. Remember to send your questions in to homework helper at edu at Fayette Christian and we will answer those questions for you. For more in depth videos, like and subscribe to FCA's YouTube channel to support the homework helper and be sure to turn on your notifications to catch the next episode.